So today we're gonna to talk about applied cost. We're gonna talk about applied cost of powder coating per square foot on any particular surface or finished good. The four things you need to know in order to calculate your applied cost are number one, specific gravity. The specific gravity or SG of the product can be found on the technical data sheet, the TDS. It's in the upper right hand portion of that data sheet. So you need that number. You're gonna to need to know the average film build that you're gonna apply that coating at. You're gonna to need to know the transfer efficiency or product utilization of that product. And you're gonna to need to know, of course, the cost per pound. So let's walk through each one of those variables. The specific gravity can range from 1.2 to 3.5. Typically, it's gonna be in the 1.2 to 1.9 range. This gravity is gonna tell you the mileage of that product but the other variables are gonna determine exactly how much coverage you can get based on your application. The second thing is average film build. When you think about average film build, you're talking about taking a part and measuring the film build all over that part. You don't wanna just measure in a couple of areas, you wanna measure in a variety of different areas. This is a good illustration because it has high points and low areas, it's got some Faraday areas, so what I would do in this case is I would measure probably eight to 10 times on this surface. And knowing that the backside must be coated as well, I'd measure the exact same number on the backside and then take an average. Let's say in this case, my average was 2.8 mils. So now I have specific gravity and I know my average film is 2.8. The second thing is gonna be product utilization. For the purposes of this video, let's tell you, say that we're not gonna be reclaiming the product. If you were reclaiming the product, that utilization can typically be 85 to 95%, depending on the variables in that reclamation system. But for a non-reclaimed system, there are two main variables that you need to keep in mind. Number one, the application. And number two, the part configuration, the geometry of the part. If I'm spraying this part with a handgun, my transfer efficiency can be fairly high because it's a flat surface. But if I have to spray a product that has a lot of voids or openings, like, like this basket, my transfer efficiency is gonna be very, very low. I wouldn't be surprised if the TE or transfer efficiency of this is 25 to 30%. Or in this case, depending on the product and the gun used and the application technique, could be 50 to 70%. So a big change there. So the configuration and geometry of the product makes a big difference in transfer efficiency. So let's say for the case of this wire basket, let's say our TE or transfer efficiency is 30%. So now we can walk through the calculation. I've got gravity, I have cost per pound, I have average film build, and I have transfer efficiency. So now let's walk through the rest. Okay, so now for applied costs, let's do the calculation. We've talked about our average film build. We've talked about the necessity to have a specific gravity identified. We've got to know our application utilization or transfer efficiency. And of course, we need to know the cost per pound. The calculation for gravity is the first one let's look at. If I have a product that has a specific gravity of 1.0, water is an example, and I pour that on the ground and evenly distribute it across the floor at one mil, utilizing 100% of it, I will cover 192.3 square feet. Well, the gravity of powder that I'm using is higher than that. So for calculation purposes, let's use 1.5 gravity. So I have to take 192.3, the constant, divided by 1.5, the gravity of my product, and I'm at 128.2 square feet. Well, now I have to account for the film build because I'm not putting it on at one mil. I'm putting it on as an average of 2.8. So divide that number by 2.8, and now I'm down to 45.78 square feet. But I'm not utilizing 100% of my coating either. You know, if I was spraying a flat surface and reclaiming, I can be as high as 90, 95%. But I'm not reclaiming. I'm in a non-reclaim application and I'm going to use this wire basket as my product. So my transfer efficiency is going to be very, very low because of all the air that I'm spraying in that particular product. 
So I'll use 30%. So if I take 30% of that, now I'm down to 13.73 square feet. When I buy that pound of product to coat this wire basket in a non-reclaim application, I can cover 13.73 square feet. And now as long as I know my cost per pound, I can come up with a cost per square foot. Then if I calculate the square foot of each part, I can come up with a cost of coating per part. Again, just coating. So this is to give you a comparison of one coating to another in an applied cost comparison. So if you got any questions, give us a call. Good luck.